baby, baby, whether you're high or low, whether you're high or low, you're going to tip on the time, you're going to tip on it, tip on the time, you're going to tip on it. Okay. Did you get too high? Sorry. <laughs> For reference, the reason why we're doing this is because of my hair. Yeah, I said she looks a little bit like Janelle Monet with this front puff, you see? Yeah. Because yeah. we do it out here in the streets, you know how we, we do. <laughs> She's killing the game. So I She was their inspiration, though, for this hairstyle. Yeah. Janelle, Janelle can we just Monet. talk about her for a moment? <gasps> like, this woman's got style. Out the, like... Out the box. Uh, out the box. All the she's time. ridiculously stylish. Seriously. Like, and she's like, she likes to wear lots of black and white because mm. her parents are in service. And like, if I wear black and white all the time, I would look Actually, like. Actually, I love black and white. Well, of course, but if I did it all the time, I would look ridiculous. Oh, that's right. After a while, she looks bomb. <laughs> yeah, she just has a style, man. And then pop a color all the time. Yeah, a little red, a little orange, a little pink. She rocks it. She's one of my favorite no, style models. Cara, put up a picture <clears throat> right here. Here? Somewhere? Oh, here. here. There. Right in between us. With the upcoming season of television, mm -hmm. Kimberly and I decided to do a, like, kind of what we're excited about. Mm -hmm. So, like, a fall TV premiere pre pre preview. Yes. So, what we have done is essentially we've picked three TV shows. Mm -hmm. We've chosen one that we thought was um, really good. That looks really, really good. That looks really good. Yeah. Another one that we're really excited about and then one that was just like, what What the heck? I'm not sure that, I don't that know. will last very long. I don't know about that one. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be interesting. Yeah. We totally did independent of each other so I'm not sure of all her choices and she's not sure of all of mine. I really hope you don't have some of the same things. I hope not. Ha! Ha! Wanna <laughs> go first? Sure! Okay. Oh, so the one I have is called Bull. Um, okay, so, um, ULL stars, oh, I shouldn't, hold on. Okay, Michael Weatherly as, stars as Dr. Jason Bull in a genre inspired by an early career of Do Dr. Phil M McGraw, the founder of one of the most pro prolific trial consulting firms of all time. Um, brilliant, brash, and charming, Dr. Bull is the ultimate puppet master as he combines psychology, human intuition, and high-tech data to learn what it takes, jurors, attorneys, witnesses, and the accused tick. Okay? So that's just the basic rundown of the entire thing. And what I saw of it, it just looked pretty good. Um, I know there's a lot of like CSI, um, Criminal Minds, right. there's quite a few of those coming back in right now, but that one actually looks interesting because to always to know what's going through um, either the juror's head hmm. versus the criminal's head when they're committing the crime, when they're on trial and so on, it's just so interesting to me. Mm -hmm. So that one sparked, it. It sparked my interest. Yeah. It sparked my interest. Cool. Yeah. So yeah, that one does. Cool. called Bull? Bull. Awesome. Yeah. So, my first choice, my um, show that I'm looking forward to watching when it comes out, mm -hmm. it is called This Is Us. Um, you might have seen the previews. I think it's going to be airing on NBC. Yeah, I, one, yes. yeah. Yeah. I cannot so wait. I think it looks so beautiful. The premise is really short. It says, it's a group of people born on the same day, including Rebecca, played by Mandy Moore, and Jack, played by Milo Vent. Ventimiglia. Oh, he's he's from Heroes. He's from Heroes. He's from Heroes. Yeah. <gasps> and, from Gilmore, Sorry. and from Sorry. Gilmore Girls. And from Gilmore Girls as well. A married couple expecting triplets in Pittsburgh and Kevin, a handsome television actor growing bored of his fly bachelor lifestyle. It premieres on Tuesday, September 20th. And if you haven't watched the preview, you should go watch it. It's so touching. And like, there's just a lot of these poignant, like, um, just real moments mm. that people go through but this one looks like it's just it's not trying to be overly sensational maybe i'm wrong we'll see how it goes yeah but from the preview it just looks like really honest experiences Point awesome. blank so i'm looking forward to that one yeah yeah okay so the next one that i'm looking forward to is called american housewife Ooh. so this one's a comedy um Written by Sarah Dunn, who's done Spin City and Bunheads. Um, oh, hold on one second. Okay. 
Okay, so comedy stars Mike and Molly. Uh, Molly's, so that the one of the ladies from there. Uh, Katie Mixon is starring as Katie Otto, a confident, unapologetic wife, mother of three, raises her flawed family in a wealthy town in the wealthy town of Westport, Connecticut, filled with perfect quote unquote mommies and their perfect offspring. <laughs> I absolutely love that so much because, oh, like when you're growing up watching TV, honestly and truthfully, talk about it, sis. Like, they're all this tiny. Okay, mm. they don't have any butt. Mm. They have, oh, no, 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 and they have lots of boob, <laughs> and hers always perfectly coiffed. Granted, her hair in this one is still. Really it's nice. still phenomenal. It's still phenomenal. Lots of people are nice. like, but girl, you're beautiful. So I don't know. I don't even know. But I'm just <laughs> saying, like, it's just, it's just a, a like a, a size eight or ten girl living in what you know, glamorized the, the what the glamorized world is. I'm like, thank you for being real. Like, there's literally a part in like one of the previews where they said we should go walking or whatever, and she's like, that is not gonna happen. <laughs> I'm like, go ahead, get your life, girlfriend. But this the realness again. You're like, just the yes. realness of it. I'm like, yes, I can see myself saying that. <laughs> Bring me a TV that I would actually watch and something that I would actually say. No. Mm -hmm. That speaks to oh, a real human more. experience. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that seems can't. to be a theme. A theme of the day. That just doesn't happen. Yeah. Exactly. That sounds fun. This is so fun. I just seen this like preview and I was laughing out loud, out loud yes. a lot. Yeah. There's a lot of good jokes in the yeah. preview. So. We should also say that we're gonna put the link. Sorry, Kara. Down below <laughs> to all these different um, the trailers, the, the trailers mm -hmm. for the previews of the show. Yeah. Um, and you can tell us what you think. Yeah, tell us what you think. Mm -hmm. If you think they'd be good or not, mm -hmm. then comments, please. We don't see enough comments down below. We see some, but. So the second show that I am really looking forward to is a show called Pitch. Oh, that? oh, I, I think, I think I saw a little bit. Mm -hmm. I think I saw a little bit. I, I'm a, I love history. And I love learning about um, the first person to the first person to do this or the mm. person who did whatever. Mm. So this is the series is set in the confines of Major League Baseball, and it sets its focus on a young female pitcher who becomes the first woman to play in the league when she's chosen to play for the San Diego Padres. Mm. I think that's gonna be pretty dope. That's gonna be kind of fun. I just yeah. I mean, why not, right? Like those stories are always so inspiring. They're so. Um, I think w the problem with um, the way people tell stories sometimes is that they like to gloss over the tough stuff and they kind of like to tell they were the first Won't ones to do, do it. it. Right. They were the first ones to do this and they were so time. amazing. But they didn't go through the struggle of what happened. <laughs> Preach about it, sis. Come on now. Half of them were like, come on, evangelist. Come on, evangelist. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Evangelist Jones. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I just think I love to hear the whole story. Mm. If you ask me, I like to read autobiographies because I like to hear the whole story. People, there are amazing people out there, but they didn't get amazing overnight. Mm. You know, there's a lot. Some the people go through it. Yeah, the things that people go through sometimes, like none of us could go through that and come out still smiling and still killing the game. Word. So I love to read stories and watch stories of people who came through extremely difficult obstacles. Being the trailblazer, being the one to start Not a trend. Not just like I was an ugly duckling when I was a child. We were, we were all. We all were ugly duckling babies. That we, at some point in time, we were missing one tooth in our first grade. In picture. our, in our first teeth, right in the front. In the front, we were all it was ugly hideous. Child, I don't know how okay? parents. It takes a mama to love faces. Like Woo! That. We did not look good. Mm -mm. So you know that you ain't special in that regard. But when you tell, the whole, <laughs> Sorry. I like it when people tell the whole. When you get to hear the whole story, and mm -hmm. I realize it's gonna be Hollywood, so they're probably gonna gloss over some things. But I still like the premise of it. Yeah. That one that premieres on September twenty second. Okay, and the last one. So this is the one that um, I don't know. <laughs> I think maybe they were like under the influence of something. <laughs> Oh, Cause so like, awkward. okay, so basically, <laughs> I don't know if I told you this one. Okay, so it's called Imaginary Mary. Oh, okay. It says a workaholic adult woman's imaginary friend from her childhood comes back to her, but ends up being more of a troublemaker than a great companion. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> right? This is supposed to be an adult 
show. This is not a child's <laughs> show. This is an adult show. Oh. The thing is, anyhow, anyhow, this thing becomes like a big thing. That'll speak to the problem with the world today. I don't, I mean, I don't have anything else to say about it. <laughs> like the, I Imagine read that, I was like, I watched the thing, I was like, Imagine. this is the thing. That's gonna be a, a full-on show with episodes for a season at least. Oh, we'll see how I think that get. I predict that gets canceled. Let's hope it does. Cause I'm just I'm throwing that right at Cause that sounds. I mean, how long can that continue? Well, I guess they could come up with a million they could different come, ways yeah, that yeah, making up a <laughs> this lot could get interesting. Yeah. I mean, people need to make a career somehow. So I'm not cussing out personally. Like I'm sorry. I'm just saying, but <sighs> that sounds that sounds a little bit ridiculous. Well. So my show that I am absolutely predicting, it had better, it, I don't, mm, let's just, let me just go into it. Okay. It's called The Good Place. Mm. Here's the premise. When a tractor trailer carrying erectile dysfunction products strikes and kills Eleanor Shellstrop, she's surprised to find herself in the good area of the afterlife. She quickly realizes she has been mistaken for someone else when her wise, newfound mentor tells her she earned her place by helping get innocent people off death row. Why, I say. Why. Just why. I watched the preview. It just looks dumb. Sorry. Sorry to people who, the people who are doing this show. They thought that was great. Yeah. I mean, I don't see, again, I'm not sure how that'll continue. Right. But the thing is, like, I understand sometimes you want to like make a comedy and so on. Okay. I'm, and I'm all about comedy. I love to laugh. Yes, I'm I do. All about all comedy. About that. I love a good comedy. But I'm not sure this is it. Uh, you just, you just don't put two things together and think that's a good idea. Yeah, I don't know. It, watch the preview and you tell you let us you know. tell us because I was not. What? I was like, I don't think this needs to be a whole show. You could eat, maybe make it into a movie. Like, I would never watch that I movie. Watch that movie. <laughs> but I think it'd probably be better as a movie rather than a long-standing mm, television show. Television show. I, just, I mean, because you think about like sitcoms or like comedies, like, uh, like Friends. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like, how many seasons do they have? Like a million seasons. Ten. Does it wasn't ten? It was a lot. It was a lot. It was yeah. quite a few seasons. Mm -hmm. Or or something else like The Big Bang Theory. Oh yeah. They're going on like they're going on ten seasons. Yeah, and they're six. So yeah. Of course they are. You know, so shows like that, I'm like, yeah, there's a premise there. I can see that the plot changing and stuff like this. I'm not really sure mm -mm, sure about mm -mm. this one. I kind of predict that it'll get axed. Let's see if I'm right. Let's see if we're right. Exactly. We think we need to follow up with this. We probably should do a follow-up. We probably show. should do a follow-up. <laughs> like so. So we were wrong. We were wrong. <laughs> it's going strong. And my song, <laughs> and my show was canceled. Oh, whatever. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So my honorable mention for a show that I'm looking forward to, but it's not a new show, a new fall show. Mm. Um, it's called Quantico. Have you heard of Quantico? Yes. Yes. So it's a show about there being a big conspiracy in the FBI, like all these young people are learning trained training to be FBI agents yeah and then it fast forwards like, like I think a couple months or a year in the future and there's this massive bombing in Grand Central Station so then it starts thinking there's a conspiracy in the new set of, F of FBI recruits okay so it kind of works through it for the whole first season on who did who bombed Grand Central Station. So they figured that out. Yeah. Um, but now we're on season two. So I'm looking forward to it because I'm not sure where they're gonna go from there. Yeah. Because they kind of solved the big conspiracy and they, they figured out who that was. So I'm looking forward to it because I want to see what they're gonna do. Were, were there, was there a huge cliffhanger at the end? A little bit, a bit of a cliffhanger. Um, where it left off, Alex killed Liam. I'm not sure if you guys want a spoiler, I'm not sure if you're gonna mention. Okay. who revealed himself to be the terrorist, the voice, because he had become disillusioned with the FBI. Simon sacrificed himself by driving the nuke Liam had planted off a bridge and Alex moved back home and got recruited by the CIA. Okay. <laughs> so there is a bit of a cliffhanger there. I'm just not sure where they're going to go with it, but I'm very curious to find out because I really did enjoy the first season. I was mm. like, that's really cool. That sounds cool. Yeah. Yeah. You guys should watch it. Also, I'm just since we're on here, I'm going to say this really fast. Why in heaven's name are you coming out with this, The Exorcist, putting it as a TV show? Y'all want to get enough of that in the movies? I don't know. I'm a baby. 
I ain't gonna be watching any of that. I I don't care. Y'all can call me weak. Y'all can call me whatever you want. I'm not putting myself through that hell. And they, I think there was reviews, like you know how they do reviews before the shows air. They're like, yeah. yeah, it's terrifying. Why would you do that on a weekly basis? Can someone let us know in the comments why y'all like those kind of shows? I don't understand. I don't, I don't care if you call me. I don't care. I'm embracing who I am, and who I am does not like scary movies. Yeah, scary show. It's a whole show of demon possession. The base. That I'm sorry. I don't. I don't flirt around with that stuff. That stuff is real. Yeah. Okay. Uh -uh. But you know what? If you can give me a good argument for why you find that a fascinating show, I would love to hear it. We're not going to watch it though. No, but I'd love to hear what you have to say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alright, so tell us what you think about the show that we picked. Mm -hmm. Take a look at the trailers below. Um, and yeah leave a comment below mm -hmm. tell us oh yeah i'm looking forward to this one too or even tell us something that you're looking forward to as or well. if you think we're completely off base let us know that too yeah we'll, we'll, we'll take it Con constructive criticism people thanks it's been great y'all it's been great yeah so let us know what you think yeah. hit us up until next time Wait. keep fit and having fun what <laughs> what were you saying Y'all remember? What were their names? <laughs> um, Till next time. Keep fit and have fun. fun. What were their names again? Oh, fit. What's it called? Oh, I'm gonna have to Google this now. What was Body it? break. Body break. <laughs> I think it's a Canadian I think thing. It's a I think it's a great reminder on the on the outro. Okay. 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 okay let's go. Keep fit and have fun. Body break. Body break. <laughs>